UFO. So basically, uh, ships. Let's see the they video. Have, yeah, they got all kinds of stuff. Let's see. Bada bing. If you believe we have crashed craft, uh, stated earlier, do we have the bodies of the pilots who piloted this craft? As I've stated publicly already in my News Nation interview, uh, biologics came with some of these recoveries. Yeah. Um, were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? Non-human, and that was the assessment of people uh, with direct knowledge on the program I talked to that are currently still on the program. I'm just ready for the zombie apocalypse or alien takeover because I feel like that's the only way we're going to really get the truth. Why would because they the government, take us over? The, uh, the aliens? Yeah, for what? Because they're ready to be seen. They try to be, they try to be hidden. They you know to... what? I think that they thought about taking us over, mm -hmm. but I think like that they like left and like I wonder what these guys are going to come. And then I think they probably started coming back when we started doing nukes because mm -hmm. they could see us. Oh, you know, they're saying one thing they're saying is that um, they're saying that we shot that we have some spacecrafts here that crash. And a lot of people are laughing because the aliens like aliens don't like their ships don't just crash because, you know, you you're a bad driver. You had to get they had to get shot down. And one thing they're saying is that uh, we as America and China and all the other places, we have some weapons. They can shoot out of space and everything from the ground. They can do some real damage that they haven't even showed us yet. I bet, especially if think about it, how long they've had these uh, sh uh, ships that True. are not from this planet. So if they've been able to reverse engineer some of the things on the ship, some of those ships might be equipped that would uh, basically have like lasers or some type of weapon that may put other spaceships out of commission. So maybe they were able to make their own laser off of some of the ships that they captured off of like looking into the technology that was there a lot of people believe that the technology boom from us is actually from the aliens like vhs tapes dvds mm -hmm. like a uh, computer's getting better that it's all was from like reverse engineering alien stuff i should see see all the see, see everybody hiding all these secrets I want to know what's going on i'm tired of waiting i think the reason that they don't destroy us is because of our uniqueness I think that basically all aliens, like from what I've seen and done mm -hmm. my research with people that have uh, allegedly worked for the um, government, is that like everything is the same. So like the ship is like a seat is a seat, you know, a steering wheel is a steering wheel, whatever the wall is a wall. They basically have one design for everything. Like if you even look at cars or vehicles, mm -hmm. there's like a thousand different type of cars. So we're very artistic in everything we do. I don't even know if aliens have music. They'd be astonished at us having the uh, imagination to make music and movies. True. So I think they may be astonished at that and that we don't That's just... probably why I took up the dinosaurs because the dinosaurs were born. Possibly. They thought that it was a know-nothing species that brought nothing to the table. So they probably maybe restarted, hoping that some intelligent life would come. That is a possibility. But, um, you know, this is some of the things that have been come out about it. I mean, a lot of things have been coming out. I've seen a lot of other people say that they're under, it's like underwater, it's like it's an underwater ice cast where like... Well, I believe they could go underwater. And I, basically, they say their ships basically can alter gravity. Yeah, alter so, gravity. So they can manipulate gravity so that doesn't... It do, they don't operate basically as a rocket propulsion like jet engines because mm -hmm. those you can't turn on a dime. You basically got to tilt your wings to do a gradual turn or you, you would rip your ship into pieces. These things can go from like zero to 5,000 miles per hour, stop at a dime, and then go immediately the other direction. I remember watching Man in Black as a kid thinking this couldn't be real. And I, like I think me. it's more real than we think. I think there even be more, like you say, with Men in Black where there might be some things that are among us that are uh, faking themselves as, as people. If everyone remembers that blonde girl on the plane that mm -hmm. went viral where she was like, that thing back there is not human. I'm not sitting next to it. Mm. And then like people couldn't find her. So I don't know. It's it's kind of weird. So And you know, the kid that was in the, uh, the kid that we watched, it had a video of the, you, well, he said UFOs landed in his backyard. Oh yeah. yeah they yeah. said he's missing. Yeah. They said like the family's missing. It's, they probably interviewed him or mind wiping him or something. I mean, of course. I mean, the uh, but I think that's why they let us live. Is just at the end of the day, is because we're artists. Entertainment. I can entertainment. See that. I don't think they have that stuff. 
I can see that. I can see that. But I need to think they're of, very practical. Any, they don't care about creating like yeah. books or movies or none of that. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. They just. I mean, I guess it. I guess I they, bet really you they watch a lot of our TV. I bet you they watch a lot of our TV. I guess they might we, be like Real Housewives fans. You never know. True. 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 Or maybe we just probably in the part of the universe that doesn't have a whole bunch of violence. Because I mean, if there's a whole bunch of other universes and other areas. I, another uh, galaxies, po- other galaxies. We probably like in a galaxy that doesn't have that many wars or something like that, or like you know, or they trying to protect, they trying to help us get to it before the war really happens because they seen what happens in other universes. Well, it's like how on, kind of like we contact un- or we treat uncontacted tribes. You know, they have some like a North Sentinel Island that's mm-hmm. a tribe that we just leave alone. What if there's like aliens that have like a alien government and they've decided like, oh no, we're leaving them alone. They're not mature enough or they're not uh, big enough of a threat yet to kind of even let them know what's going on in the galaxy. You see, they discover more and more planets. It's like it's they, they discover more planets that don't even have names. So they just gave it like R2-D2. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just. And, and people don't even think about it. Like we're all technically Earth is hurling through space and we're just connected to the sun because of gravity and the sun is hurling through space. And it's like, uh, that's what's going on. So mm-hmm. we're constantly moving and people don't even think about it. We're constantly just flying through fi- uh, space. I can't wait till it's like Zoe one on one and we live in the space. <laughs> that's out of all the movies, <laughs> Star Wars, Star Trek, uh, uh, what battle star Galactia <laughs> Galactica, you, you're the Zoe one on one. That's the space world I want to live in. Everybody remember Zoe one on one comic below the classic movie. <laughs> Great, but uh, speaking of classics, man, speaking of classics, looks like here. Speaking of classics, let me think. My official sponsor, non sponsor, Twisted Tea. You just opening your Twisted Tea. Snap, crackle, pop. We eatches. We like five topics in. That's my second tea, Mademoiselle. Oh yeah, true that. True my that, true that. chugged his first tea, and I'm like, I'm saving two for the show. So if you didn't watch our last show, remember, thank you for the views. But it was a three-hour episode because my co-host wanted to talk my head off. Hey, we're giving him like a good hour 30 this time. We're probably going to go like an hour 45. We'll see. We'll see. But move. Comment below. We're literally let, like halfway through. Comment below. Let me 